Hi there, and welcome to the Player YouTube channel, where amongst other things, we do car reviews, and not just any old car reviews, we do special ones, like this one. This is the latest all-electric car from Genesis. You might not have heard of them that much yet, but you're gonna be hearing a lot about them over the next few months, because there are three of these cars coming out. There's a GV60, which is the car that we've got here, there's a GV70, and there's a GV80 coming your way. Let's check it out, let's have a look around it and see what we think of this new all-electric offering from the Genesis Motor Company. So there's some really nice quirky bits and pieces up the front here, which I really love. Um, your stop start button is over here. When you push that, the gypsy ball of wisdom here in the middle, where it does look a bit like that, it's, it is really nice, I love it. That will actually twist when you push the start button. This particular car has been deactivated today in case um, somebody stupidly turns the car on and goes flying through the showroom window, which wouldn't be very good. But you've got a simple setup here of drive, neutral and reverse, and then there's a park button somewhere which I'll have to find when we do get out on the road test. Um, you've got a large knurled dial here which can change all the different aspects that you get up on the top here on this lovely screen that sweeps all the way across here. I love the fact that all the heating controls are completely separate here. You've got power adapters down here so you can plug anything in you want. There's double cup holders here. It really is just so nicely set up. Um, you've got electronic adjustment on your steering here so you can push it right back there. And these seats, they've got to be at least 16, maybe even 18 way so you can get them in the perfect driving position. One little quirky bit I do want to show you. Watch this for a glove box. How is that? That is super cool. So it actually pulls out like a drawer. Look at that. Really, really nice. Um, I just love sitting in here. It's just so nice and airy and comfortable. The only thing I have noticed, and I will give this as a comment, is the screen seems rather short here, but it's nice and wide at the same time. So you get a good view straight out the front of the car. So depending on which trim level you go for and which battery configuration you opt for, you will get up to 292 miles of range with one of these cars, which is highly comparable to the current market. The car will give you in the Sport Plus model, naught to 60 times of sub four seconds. Yes, sub four seconds with a limited top speed of 146 miles an hour. The battery on this particular car is 490 brake horsepower, the equivalent of. So it's a pretty fast car. One thing you have on here, which I really love, is a boost button. So when you're in sport and you push the boost button, the seat belt tightens, the seat tightens around you and you hang on. In the back for the passengers, there's stacks of room, but before I jump in, check out over here, you've got your own personal little cup holder and you've got heated seats as well, which is gonna be lovely in the winter. Um, getting in and out, really simple. Loads of leg room, I mean, it's just beautifully built as well. You've got two USBs in the middle here and you've got a large cubby in there to store all your bits and pieces. No granny's fishnets in here, no, this is proper. Look, it pops back nicely like that. Um, in the center section here, You've got your pull down, you've got your double cup holder there. Um, there isn't any ski hatch, so at the moment, I can't imagine taking this on a ski holiday because there'd be nowhere to put your skis. But one thing I do like is, you've got buttons on the side here so you can actually move the seat forward if you do need a little bit more leg room, which is nice because you don't have to bother the driver or the passenger. Do it all yourself. Nice big sunroof in here as well. Not sure if it opens right up yet. Again, that's something we'll check when we get this car out on the road. But all in all, really lovely. Look at the finish on this, stunning. 
Unfortunately, with this car, you only get one charging point, and it's on the driver's side if it's a right-hand drive car. However, watch this. Touch sensitive. How cool is that? And then when you want to close it, genius from Genesis. Love it. Let's check out round at the back because if it's, well, look at that. I mean, that is sexy looking. The design on this car is beautiful. I'm loving all this sort of piano black finish as well. You've got a stoplight that runs all the way through there. Really nice pencil sharp, thin line. You've got privacy glass at the back. We've got those lovely roof bars as well. Everything sort of matching. Beautiful lights coming around here, LEDs. You can see them lit up there. Let's take a look inside. It's electronically assisted, so it goes up in a couple of seconds, really nice. 432 litres of boot space. Underneath here, place to keep your cables. Unfortunately, you do get the inevitable pump and liquid latex that you do. Throw that away, get yourself a set of run flats. You've got scuff guards on here, will stop any of the plastic getting scratched. You've got 12 volt adapters, and all in all, there's a ton of room to get at least five suitcases in here. Your entry level price starts at 47,000 UK pounds, and that is for what is known as the premium trim level. There are three trim levels. You've got premium, you've got sport, and you've got sport model plus, which is what this car is here. And that will be your different trims. You can pay up to 65,000 pounds for one of these cars, plus any extras that you want to add to it. However, all cars come with either 20 or 21 inch rims. And I think these look stunning. So there you have it guys, that was a quick show round of the Genesis GV60. And I say a quick show round because really that's all we've had time to do today. What we're hoping is in the next few weeks we're going to get a test drive in one of these cars and we can give you the road report and all the range bits and pieces that you want to know about this car. So we'll call this part one of the GV60 review and hopefully part two in the next few weeks. Now, in order to get notified about part two, don't forget all you've got to do is subscribe. Simple as. Hit the subscribe button and leave the bell sign unchecked because that will give you a notification when we next upload a video. If you've been watching us, I hope you've enjoyed what we've just shown you. If you did, then like, subscribe and comment. Any more questions you want to know about this car, leave them in the comment box and one of the team will get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to give us a big thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it because we don't get any pay extra, we don't get any bonuses, but what we do get is a pat on the back from the boss to say, job well done, which means we can keep bringing you these videos, these reviews as such. And it also means that you like what we're actually doing and that appreciates, you know, from our side of things as well. Anyway, enough said. Don't forget, we are part of the player. You can subscribe to the player as well. It's a massive, great book for guys. It's completely free of charge, the online version. All you've got to do is go to www.theplayer.co.uk, go to the register button at the top, and all I need is your name and email. I don't need to know how many dogs you've got, how many kids, your inside leg measurement, just your name and your email. And you can either look at that online, scroll through it with your finger or your mouse, or you can download it and watch it at your leisure, as they say in America something like that. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, catch you next week with something a little bit different. I'm looking forward to it.